What's going on guys? I'm here with uh, Cam Bostock. Yo. If you don't follow him, um, definitely do. He gets up to lots of good adventures, but new one for us both today. Two paddle, paddle boards, bunch of gear, and about 150 kilometers of river to tackle. Yeah, we're not entirely sure how this is gonna go. We got three to four days to do it. No training, so it should be fun. You can see it's not too deep at the moment, so with our inflatable paddle boards, we're a bit worried about uh, getting harpooned. Uh, so it should be interesting. Uh, stick along for the journey, it'll be fun. Oh no, I should have went your way. This way's uh That did not work. Yeah, I think so. Just getting pushed into it. Oh. <laughs> Somewhat works. All right, so we've officially done about 10 kilometers in three and a half hours, so a little slower than anticipated, but the first part, as far as we've been told, is a lot of obstacles, so slowed us down quite a bit. When we have got this big open area, we are getting quite a bit of kilometers done, so. Oh God. Oh. That wasn't as uh, exciting as I thought.
So we finally made it to our first campsite. It's not much. <laughs> but it's something. But it's something. And we actually had to pull our boards up here. And what you don't see is that's all thick mud down there. So really hard to get them up, but we made it. Done pretty much 25 kilometers today, which we're stoked about because we did not think we'd get there, especially with our start and all the little obstacles. So set up, eat, and I can go to bed. <laughs> Got a big day tomorrow, hoping we can hit 50 Ks or something. Uh, see how we go. This is our uh, set up for the night. Let me dry off some clothes. Fallen in a few times does that. Very wet clothes. A dunny roll. Soaking wet. Not really usable currently, so it's a life or death situation having to dry that out. Now we're just gonna uh, cook some food, get warm, get ready to do it again tomorrow. I'm already knee deep. Alright, it's morning two, or morning one I guess. So we've packed up. As you can see, we had to bring our packs down the steep, muddy bank. It's kind of gross stepping in that mud, but we're pumped. We're hoping to get about 50 k's today. A few, uh, few losses over our first day of paddling. Camp lost a water bottle, was pretty, pretty cut up about that one. I lost my uh, Peak Design tripod, I lost my GoPro tripod and also my GoPro lens so at the moment I'm filming this without a lens on my GoPro but it's not going to get us down, got worse to look forward to having to paddle 50 k's, hoping it's a lot of open river this time though so we can get the k's under our belt and hopefully we actually make some progress because it looked like yesterday we didn't even make a dent on the map of what we want to achieve so got a long way to go, wish us luck, uh, stay with us, see if we make it. going for a crash landing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. Trying to aim this thing. <laughs> jump on it. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> aim straight for the bushes. Back to this one, rapids, pack the board. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's exactly what we don't want for the first ride of the morning. First kilometre. First 500 meters, I should say, and oh, already hit plenty of obstacles. Oh. Hard work, but good fun.
has been the story of the morning so far. So those 50 k's are gonna be harder and harder the more of this we have to deal with. <laughs> Exactly working. <laughs> it wasn't effective, but it worked. Can I turn around? Alright, so we've hit 42 k's and decided to call it a night in our cozy little uh, campsite. It's been a massive day, we've been paddling for almost 11 hours and we've still got probably over 100 k's to go so it's going to be interesting. But pretty nice spot here that we've found, we've got maybe an hour till sunset so we're going to get set up, have something to eat, get a little fire going and go again tomorrow. All right, morning of day three, we've just set off about 6 a.m. The aim today is about 50 kilometers, which is 10 more than yesterday. Bodies are hurting now, we're finally feeling the effects of it all. The shoulders, the back, they're all hurting, muscles you don't use, uh, uh, you know, in hiking and all that. We've set off with sort of got some blue skies, which are hoping to stick around. The forecast wasn't looking too great for today, it was just cloudy, but we can hope. I don't know if you can see it, but the river's a bit misty this morning. It got down to about five degrees last night. It's absolutely pouring down, but we're pumped to try to hit our goal of 50 k's and hopefully we can finish tomorrow with another 50 k's, but let's see how we go.
so we made it to our first little break for the day about five hours in almost 25 k's clocked so thought we'd stop at this little spot we had a couple minutes of sun before we stopped here and then just started bucketing down it's actually cleared up nicely now after we've enjoyed our coffees had our meat growing uh we're nowhere near where we want to get to I don't see how we're going to make it to Augusta by tomorrow, but uh, we don't have a choice because we've got to get to our car. Don't really have anyone else out here to uh, help us out, so super stoked still. I lost the fin off my board, so steering is a bit of an issue. Um, kind of just floating all over the place, so that's going to be fun for the next 100 kilometers or so, whatever we have to go. So yeah, wish us luck. Right, 50 k is in the bag for today. We're both absolutely exhausted. Still got estimating anywhere between 60 to 80 tomorrow, so don't know how we're gonna manage that. But for now, we found our little, little site. Nice little dock down there. First things first was the fire and plenty of dry wood around to keep us going for the night. All right, day four and our final day begins. It's about 5 a.m. We're just about packed up and ready to go. Just let our fire burn out and be back on the water. Today is gonna be a mission. We have to be back in Perth tonight, even if it's at midnight. So we're gonna be paddling for anywhere between 14 to 16 hours, which is gonna be great. We're both feeling it. Whole body's really sore. I'm having to paddle in long pants and socks. Uh, somehow my toes have been blistered up and burnt from the sun even though we've had very very minimal sun so that's going to be fun especially when they get wet and we paddling in soggy socks all day so definitely not looking forward to that looking forward to finishing up tonight and hopefully we've got the strength to just push on through and get to the end So 4Ks into day one, and we found our first little obstacle. I don't think it's wise to send the paddle boards down that. The plus side is we found our first real toilet up the hill for the trip. So you've seen on day one, our toilet paper was absolutely soaked and it has not recovered since. So we've held strong for now. Uh, very grateful that we actually had to stop here because that's been a blessing. And now it gives us 
a little less weight to push on for the rest of the day. Nice. <laughs> We're stuck in the trees. First actual break for the day. We're about 30 kilometers in Alexander Bridge Campground. Finally been able to fill up water. We've been rationing all day. Uh, so it's good to hydrate again. Drink a coffee. Need the caffeine. We're estimating about 25 to 30 k's to go. And we need to be done tonight. It's um, probably about five or so hours of daylight left. So we need to hustle. It's been a brutal day today. Against the wind for a lot of it. So having to work a lot harder than uh, we had hoped, so see how we go, wish us luck. About seven k's to go into that, so we're fighting with the ocean now. Uh, it's almost dark, the sun is going down slowly. But hopefully we can just book it across here and it's kind to us. But it might be another, might be two to three hours, seven kilometers, judging by the way this water is flowing. But we're eager to finish, so we're just gonna push on. Soldier on and just just get there I guess. 